The, the next item I want to talk about is Mercer's Diagnostic Flashcards. These are a very unique concept and very, very popular. They're a great learning tool. It's based on a novel strategy of highlight, highlighting the key features which are grouped as three or four presenting features. So that's why we call it triads or in case of four tetrads. I've developed uh, 540 of these for the most important medical conditions and also some fairly rare ones which offer challenges. This is the original group of flashcards that have been developed over the years for common infections. This includes all the common infections. And the idea is to have on the front of a card the main features. For example, this one says a, a resident who has been overseas from the tropics visiting you. And they've got the sudden onset of a flu-like illness, fever, severe aches and pains, a fine rash, but a meta an unusual metallic taste in the mouth. And this can be very tricky, but if you turn over the back, it tells you this is dengue fever, which is a tropical infection. And it has on it other features of the infection uh, and also how you make the diagnosis and then a mention on treatment. Now this is a very neat package, but what we have done is we've put it on a nap uh, and uh, it's an ideal learning tool for students and registrars and doctors if they want to revise all the common conditions in medicine. Uh, students tell me they find it very useful uh, travelling around on public transport. They can just pull, pull this out of their pocket and refer to it. Uh, and it looks like that. It's really very simple. And uh, it's a type of revision and they can challenge each other or just challenge themselves. It can be a very personal thing. But the diagnostic flashcards are a very powerful way of learning. 